Hiya, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to knit a little mermaid um, tail. This is going to be another tutorial for the Innocence movie hats. More about that is in my other video, I'll put a link in the description down below. Um, so you're going to take some yarn, you're going to make a slip knot, and we're going to put this on one of the knit needles. These are 4mm needles, I think. You take another needle, put it through the same hoop, but facing the opposite direction. Take the yarn, wrap it in between the two needles. I keep calling these hooks and needles, this isn't crochet. Then you get the second needle and you kind of pull it down and hook that yarn onto the second needle and then place that hook back onto the first needle. This is casting on if you're new to knitting. I'm still learning so bear with me. So I've made this pattern up all by myself. That's why it's not like got a flat bottom of it. It's just me making it up. <laughs> So you want to do this until you've got 30 stitches on that first hook. So just take your time if you're not used to it. If I can do it, you can do it. Because I find this really, really fiddly. It takes me a while, but you get there. The needle goes through the middle, wrap the yarn around, and then hook it. So once you've done that 30 times, you'll look like this. Now we're just going to do a normal knit stitch. So it's pretty much what you are doing just a minute ago, like that, except for this time you're not going to um, put the that hoop back onto the first needle, you're just going to pull it off the first needle so the hooks, so the, that hoop's completely on that side. So you put it through the middle, wrap around the yarn, hook it onto the second needle and pull it off. And you want to do this until you get all the way through all those um, loops, all the stitches, until you get to the end. And then we're going to repeat that a few times. So this is what it looks like after that first row. Then you're going to flip the needle over, so this is in your other hand again. And everything we've just done we're going to repeat again. So again, same knit stitch. So you put it through, and I'm not going to keep showing this because it will it'll get boring. <laughs> so just wrap it around, exactly the same stitch, I know my other video I think I've done a knit stitch then a purl stitch, this I'm just doing the knit stitch, because I think it makes a nice kind of like scaly pattern like you would find on a mermaid's tail. So once you've done that you flip it over again. So you've done the cast on and then the two rows. Then this will be another row where you're just repeating what we've done. So again, the knit stitch all the way across to the end. Just get very repetitive, but because you're just doing the one stitch, if you're not that good at it, you'll get better. <laughs> and this is where Piggy joined us. He got a bit bored and he wanted to be on camera. <laughs> so say hello piggy he's got his own instagram account ok now this is where we're going to change up slightly so we're going to put do the same stitch so we're going to put it through hook it on like you would normally we're going to do this twice but then we're going to do like a cast off stitch except we're only going to do it once on each row so you like dropping a stitch for each row. So to do this, once you've done two stitches, you want to grab that first stitch and pull it over the top of the second stitch. Try and keep that second stitch on the needle and then just drop it once it's off the hook. As you can see, you've got one less stitch on there now. And then the rest of the line, you just do the normal knit stitch all the way to the end. So from now on that's what we're going to be doing for every line. So this is what it looks like when it's done as you can see that first one is not there anymore so we flip it over 
and we're going to do the same. So it just again two stitches normally and then you take that first stitch fill it over the top of the second stitch and drop it underneath the needle and you're going to keep doing this until you end up each row just drop one stitch until you end up with just six stitches on the needle so this is what it looks like once you've done that so I'm just going to cut off the excess but keep like a longish tail I'm going to put a needle on that I'm just going to thread the needle through those stitches you could cast off but this is quicker for me and I'm lazy and it does the same thing anyway so I'm just going to pull that through the stitches pull it nice and tight then I'm going to fold this over just make sure it's all nice and lined up and to, to secure the top I'm just going to quickly put a little knot in the top I'm going to go back through the top of that pull it out, put the needle through that hoop and pull nice and tightly now I'm just going to sew this edge up so I'm just going to just do a really simple stitch you don't need anything fancy, just something to hold it in place and this will be the main body of the tail done well, that sounds a bit weird, don't it? the main body of the tail <laughs> just speed that up also hide that little excess bit from the beginning and then tie a little knot and cut off any excess so I'm going to turn this the right way around now because you want that sewn bit on the inside so you can't see it and that's the main bit done so now we're going to cast on again and this time we're going to cast on 12 stitches so the same way as you did before so you do like the knit stitch but then put that stitch back onto the first needle and we'll do that 12 times once you've done that we're going to go and do the knit stitch all the way through all 12 of those stitches so the stitches too many times and once you've done that we're going to flip it over and then we're going to do this line so do the two knit stitches and then the third all the way until you get to the end so that's cast on and then we've done two light rows of normal knit stitching so we're going to do it again like I say this project is very repetitive so we're going to do two stitches and then we're going to start um, casting off one stitch each time again with this so again take the first stitch pull it over the top of the second stitch and drop it underneath the needle and we're going to do this um, once at the beginning of every row until you've got four stitches left on your needle then again with this we're going to use the needle again to thread the end through and we're just going to sew this onto the top of the tail well, actually it's the bottom of the tail isn't it but it'll be the top when it's on the Innocence Movies bottle so you just want to make sure it's nice and secure on there you want it to stand upright if you don't secure it enough it'll just end up flopping down you don't want that you want it straight up this may take a few stitches but once that's nicely and secured on there you're going to make sure your needle and yarn is at the back you're going to flip it over then thread the needle up to the middle of the back then over the top then down the front halfway 
and then pull tightly and this is what makes the little tail shape and then all I have to do is just to tie a little knot to keep it in place thread the thread <laughs> back through the back and chop off the excess and then just hide that bit of thread as well so you're going to put that on a needle thread the needle through some of the stitches and chop off the excess and you're done so this is just a novelty I want to say hat for the Instance Movies and thanks for watching. Bye!